Hey there, I'm Sean from Lightstream. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to personalize your PlayStation 4 streams to Twitch without a capture card using Lightstream Studio. In this video, we'll cover how to set up Lightstream, get a PS4 game source into your project, add overlays, alerts, and other media with our editor, and control your stream. You'll need a PlayStation 4 and any basic PC or laptop for initial setup. First thing you'll do is visit golightstream.com and click on Start Streaming to launch Lightstream Studio and then log in with your Twitch account. If this is your first time logging in, you'll need to select a subscription. All plans will allow you to stream with your PS4 and they do include a seven day free trial that can be canceled at any time. I'll choose 720p60 gamer plan since that's the highest output my standard PlayStation 4 console can handle and complete my account setup. Once your account is created, Lightstream will create a project for you. There are two types of Lightstream projects, Gamer and Creator. You can create multiple projects for different types of setups. Just remember that Gamer projects are the only ones that can receive feed from your PS4. Just look for the purple bar at the top for the Gamer Project tag right up here. Let's take a look at our project settings next. I'll name my project PS4 Ghost of Tsushima and set the resolution to 720p60. I'm streaming to Twitch via the share button on my PS4 controller, so I'll also need to enable the auto live option, which tells the project to automatically start sending the overlays to your channel when it receives a feed from the game source layer. That means you can automatically add personalizations to your stream, even when you don't have it open. Now that we're done with our project settings, we can start designing the scenes. Our canvas area here is where you can position and preview what's going out to your stream. The layers panel on the left is where you can add new capture sources and media. As you can see, there are a bunch of different layers you can add to customize the stream. First up, let's get the live feed from my PlayStation. The game source layer will bring in the content you're broadcasting from, in this case, my PS4. Also keep in mind, if you add your camera or microphone via the PlayStation share settings, it'll come through as part of this layer as well. I want anyone discovering my stream to know who I am, so I'll add a branded overlay using an image layer next. Dynamic content, like a follower alert or displaying subscriber count, is a great way to engage your audience and encourage a more active participation in the stream. There are many different third-party integrations you can add to Lightstream. For this project, I'm going to add a Rainmaker layer. Rainmaker is a full overlay editor that supports interactions like alerts, tipping, and a chatbot. I've already set up an overlay on rainmaker.gg, so it's a snap to add to my project. All third-party integrations, including Rainmaker, are web-based. Just copy the URL from whatever integration you want to add and paste it here to load it into Lightstream. This is looking great for when I'm playing a game, but let's say I wanted to add a bit more production value to the stream. I can do that by adding a starting soon video loop to run for a bit before I start playing. This is where scenes come into play. You can find them down here at the bottom. I'll add a new scene and rename it to something descriptive. Let's add this video clip I've already uploaded to my project. I want my starting soon scene to be the first to display when I go live, so I just drag it into the starting scene position. Now that we've got our gamer project set up and our scenes looking how we want, we're ready to go live. In order to route your broadcast to Lightstream, you need to make a one-time tweak to your network settings. On your PlayStation, go to your settings, network, set up internet connection, choose your preferred method, custom, automatic, do not specify, manual on the DNS settings, then you'll set it to the network DNS closest to your geographical location. Continue automatic, do not use and test your internet connection. Once set up, you can return to your game, press the share button on your controller, then select Twitch, fill in the information for your broadcast, and start broadcasting. Instead of going directly to Twitch, your PS4 broadcast goes to Lightstream, which adds all your personalizations before passing onto your Twitch channel. You'll notice you can see the live feed of your PlayStation broadcast in your game source layer to confirm everything is working as expected, once you switch to your live scene, of course. Our stream will begin on the starting scene, but when we're ready to switch, simply click on the scene you want to at the bottom of the project. 
if you don't have a computer or can't be near one while playing, you can use any mobile device to change the scenes while live. Once you're finished streaming, you can just end the broadcast on your PlayStation 4 and you're good to go. That's it, you're all set up with streaming like a pro. Thanks for watching y'all, and we'll catch up with you soon. Happy streaming.